Hey, hello! In this video, I will show you a simple way that you have to communicate uh, with uh, your computer, your personal computer, and your Raspberry Pi. Uh, so, I will be using sockets. Uh, both the computer and the Raspberry are connected to the same Wi Fi network. So, I use some standard libraries. Uh, one for the socket, one for the time, uh, and one to to run a function uh, every five seconds in this case, as you will see. So I'm defining the socket object and binding it to a tuple. Uh, in the the socket, we, in this case, we are doing the the server side, so it will be listening every five seconds. As you can notice uh, in the bind we are using the port uh, in this case uh, 5000 you can use uh, another one if you want. Uh, for the type of socket in, in this case it's uh, a TCP connection so it's via IP uh, we know what's the, the name of Raspberry via our Wi-Fi network, so it's an easy way to, to connect to it. So our function uh, will be running uh, while, while this statement is true, uh, and we are calling it, it will only send a simple message for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, so it will only say hello client, uh, every five seconds. Uh, it's interesting because imagine that uh, you want to use a sensor, a temperature sensor, for instance, uh, you can send uh, the information from the sensor to your computer or several computers. Uh, imagine you have a server running in your Raspberry at your home and you can access to it uh, via several computers and uh, do shards with it, for instance, real-time shards, uh, everything you you can imagine. So, uh, in this uh, statement, we are just starting the, the timer, and now we are going to to set our server up using our Python three. So now, in the left side, we are going to set our client. The client side in this case will be even even simpler. So it's the same method. We are using sockets with Python at our computer. Uh, this file is located uh, in the default location for the the command window, just uh, for the the tutorial. Uh, so here we already know that the name of our Raspberry is by default Raspberry Pi. So we are using it to connect to Raspberry. You can use the, the IP address, for instance. It's it's okay. Uh, here we are uh, as client. We are receiving the message from the server. In this case, our our print, our message, our string. So uh, in this case, we just define the quantity and the type of the information to receive, and now. Let's connect to our server and check the results. As you can see, every five seconds we will receive, receive the string from our server. And that's it guys, really easy to use. Hope you enjoy and have fun with it.